What's going on everybody? It's uh, me Flo here coming at you for the six week and video on my channel Face Push by Life. I want to welcome everybody and say thank you. As of the time that I'm filming this video, I have 50 subscribers and this actually does a lot for me. If you are subscribing, I want to say appreciate it. If not, please subscribe. It's free and it really helps me out. All right, so this week I'm going to forgo the gun talk and the tattoo talk because I have a story to tell and it's going to be a little bit longer. Trust me, it's just going to be worth it. So me and a buddy of mine are walking, right? We're going to go grab some coffee. It's nighttime. We're working the night shift. And as we're walking, we're walking by what would be our chow hall. Now, as we're passing where the entrance is, you know, sometimes people go in, or that's the entrance where people go in. Sometimes people also come out through there. Well, we heard, like, a scuffle and a commotion and, like, someone, like, yell out. So as we were turning around, we had missed the first, like, fall. Like, so old boy had fallen over. We missed the first fall, but we had caught him, like, on, like, his second, like, and third bounces. So... You know, being like the nice guys that we are, we walk over. So we walk over and we help him. He's like searching for his stuff. His like glasses flew off. His coffee had like flew everywhere. He had like juice that like, went under the trailer. And old boy was like searching frantically for his glasses. So me, the prepared individuals that we are, we have we have little flashlights and so we help him pick all this stuff up. You know, <laughs> we're not laughing or anything that we're helping make sure he's okay. And old boy that fell is like a bigger dude. And he's a bigger dude. He's kind of got a he's shaped like Fred Flintstone or like like a weeble do you remember weeble wobbles that's what he is he looks like a weeble wobble like a big grown-up version of a weeble wobble only the dysfunction in weeble wobble i guess because he fell down either way so he had fallen over we helped him up helped him picked up all his stuff and he went on his way so we continue on to go grab coffee well at this point i'm kind of like it was oh boy was good he was fine he was okay he's a little bit older but he's not an old guy so he's doing all right. So I'm laughing hysterically and I think it's hilarious. I'm gonna ask whatever. Well, my buddy, and he's usually the one that's like a real jerk. He is like straight face, like, man, like, I hope he's okay. Like he's been really like professional about it. Been really like just a good dude. And I'm almost in tears by the time I get inside. We grab our coffee. I'm laughing the whole way there. I'm laughing just about the whole way back. Well, on the way back, my buddy stops and he like, I think he makes sure that he didn't leave anything else under there. And sure enough, he did. He grabbed a juice box and. I think before we left the chow hall, he had grabbed a juice box for him also, like another juice to take to him. So we get back to where we're at, where we're living, and he goes to check on him. And I'm still like, I'm still cracking up about it. I thought it was funny. But old boy's, uh, old boy's good. And my, my homie, he's, he's checking on him. He's doing everything right. He's being like a good dude. All right, so fast forward today, and um, we're all eating together, okay? Not... Not old boy, he's not with us, but me and my homie are eating together, and I got to set up the scene. I got me sitting here, my homie sitting over here, I got another friend in front of me who laughs hysterically, and that kind of plays into the story a little bit, and I got another homie sitting over here, and we're sitting down, we're eating, and my homie over here, he's going to tell the story, so he's going, to, he's going off, and he's telling the story, and I started laughing, my buddy that's in front of me, he laughed really loud already, and he's laughing, and he's laughing hysterically, and I started laughing, unknown to us at the time, the guy that had fell, oh boy, was like sitting like two tables down and he's sitting with one of his friends. And so, so his buddy like kind of like turns around and like looks over at us. And by this point, I'm already laughing. I'm like laughing hysterically and uh, I'm laughing. So my buddy's laughing. And since he's the one telling the story, the dude that was like all professional about it yesterday telling the story, since we're laughing, he's like getting into it and just like, you know, being louder and just not really embellishing the story, but just like, you know, making it hitting on some of the key points and making whatever had happened like a little bit more funny. So I, at this point, I, I mean, I'm, I'm crying again. I can't even eat. My buddy in front of me, he's you know, like cackling, laughing, and uh, he just keeps on telling the story and old boy keeps on looking back around. So I had noticed that he looked around already. This made it more funny to me. Call me a jerk. <laughs> I could not say anything to him. I was laughing so hard. And the truth be told, probably wouldn't have anyways just because the situation was going to be that much more funny. It kind of messed up either way hilarious i'm laughing hysterically at this point and his friend keeps on looking over and oh boy he's like they're like kind of like looks up a little bit but like sad <laughs> it's messed up but i <laughs> you can tell, i don't know it, it kinda, it's more embarrassing than anything he was fine and that's just what we do we, we buzz balls around here so finally you know he's in telling the story and i'm elbowing him and i'm like pointing i'm like yo oh boy he's right there and you hear everything you're just being really loud he gets so red and embarrassed and he's like damn it <laughs> so that makes us all laugh even louder because now he's turning super red 
He walks over by the alright, so we finish eating and as done, he like feels really bad. He keeps on looking over to see if anything. He walks over and he apologizes and he's like feels really bad about it. We think it's hilarious and so you know we alright, so like I said, we buzz balls. We're making fun of him now. <laughs> I'm in that situation, he's mad because nobody told him it was over there. We leave. Alright, so I figure it's a done deal. It's you know, it was one of those hilarious things, just you were in the wrong place at the wrong time, got a mess, you know, told the wrong story. So next day we're out and um, he's telling the story again to somebody else that wasn't there. Lo and behold, guess who's behind him? <laughs> five feet, oh boy that fell. So he catches him for the second time telling the story and it's like, yo, <laughs> like look. So again, he get, my buddy gets like really red and is like really embarrassed, he's like, damn it. Like, so he's really like, upset about it now, right? So now he's developing a little bit of a complex about it. All right, you know, fast forward to the day, not even like the next day, fast forward to the day and I'm in my room and oh boy, all right, so my buddy comes and he starts talking and he's like, damn it, you know, he's telling the story. And he starts like talking about him again, but oh boy, had, he didn't see him, he walked like right behind him. I was standing like right at my door and when my buddy had walked in, he did not see him like walk behind him and like kind of was started talking about him and closed the door behind him. So he would not be, I don't know, so he wouldn't get caught again. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, so this time I'll stop him because at this point it's kind of like ridiculous. He's like, what, you know, this, and I tell him to open the door. <laughs> And old boy standing there, just looking at him, like so sad. <laughs> like he's getting talked about for like the third time. Um, all right, so I lose it again because it's hilarious. But old boy's like just standing, there. <laughs> he like feels bad. Like I guess he's trying not to show that it bothers him, but it it very obviously bothers him. So he up, but it's like God damn it. All right, that's like the third time. This happened like four more times altogether. Getting caught like talking. So now, whenever a boy that fell comes around, like he gets, really, my buddy gets like really quiet, and he just about has to like walk away. It's, I don't know, it, it's it's ridiculous. I think it's hilarious. Um, I think everybody's kind of been in that situation where you're either telling a story about somebody or talking about somebody, not like maliciously. I'm, I'm sure some people do it maliciously, but uh, when you're trying to tell a story about somebody or something that happened, and somebody kind of walks up and you kind of have to like stop or has like been caught doing that. I don't know, I think it's hilarious. There's no real tension between them, except for my buddy. Yeah, it's really uncomfortable whenever anybody starts bringing up the story and oh boy, that foul was around. Cause he doesn't really care. Like he's like, whatever. But because my buddy had got caught so many times, like he gets, he has to just leave. He will get rid, he's like, you know, I, I'm, I'm out of here. He will, whatever he's doing, he has to get up and like walk away. I don't know, that's, and to me, it's one of the, the funnier stories that, that I said. This is like the third time I film in it because I had laughed so much the first two times. I'm telling you, it, it's one of those things that if you weren't there, it, it doesn't really matter. You can imagine how it would be and you can imagine like his uncomfortable, like being like just knowing that he was talking about somebody and he's right there and just kind of realizes it. And probably not really embarrassment, but just like, ah, just shut up. When someone's talking about you, just let, like, let people forget. <laughs> I don't know, um, let me know what you think about it, I think it's hilarious, uh, I'm sure you, some people are like, man, that's really messed up and that's mean, it, it really is, like I said, it was nothing out of malice, it was all fun and games, um, it was just one of those things, alright, well, if you like this story, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like I said, it really means a lot to me, it's free, you don't have to pay anything, and let me know what you think in the comments, uh, yeah, uh, that's that's it for this week and as always go with the flow. I'll get you there